Hi my students. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you today? We hope that Allah always bless us forever. With Mr. Indrayadi, we are going to learn about present, past, and future continuous tense. Let's get started. My students, now we are going to learn about present continuous tense, past continuous tense, and future continuous tense. The question is, when do we use these tenses? Now, let's start our discussion about this. The first one, we are talking about present continuous tense. We use present continuous tense, number one is, for something that's happening at the moment of speaking. Jadi, guna yang pertama adalah untuk mengungkapkan sesuatu yang sedang terjadi saat kita bicara. Contohnya, please be quiet. The children are sleeping. Yeah. Diam ya, anak-anak sedang tidur. It is number one. Number two is for temporary actions. Nomor dua adalah untuk kegiatan yang sedang terjadi pada rentang waktu tertentu sekarang ini. Misalnya, saudara kita sekarang kuliah di sebuah universitas. Dia belajar ekonomi. Maka kita bisa sebutkan, my brother is at a university. He is studying economics. Jadi dia sedang belajar ekonomi. Kapan? Rentang waktu dia selama di perguruan tinggi tersebut. Number three is for future plans. Yaitu untuk sesuatu yang sudah direncanakan ke depan. Contohnya, I'm having a trip with my parents next year. Berarti kita sudah rencanakan melakukan rekreasi tahun depan dengan keluarga kita. Next, the pattern or the formula of present continuous tense is subject plus to be is or am or are plus verb one in plus object plus adverb. Object and adverb can be omitted. For example, Arman is teaching Arabic right now. Arman is subject, is to be, verb ing, teaching. And then Arabic object right now is adverb of time. My students, what subjects use to be is, am or are? Great, your correct answer is great. We use is per subject pronoun, she, he, it. We use am. For subject pronoun I, we use R for subject pronoun they, we, you. Now, my students, we are going to learn about past continuous tense. Keep paying attention and enjoying the time. When do we use past continuous tense, my students? Great, great. Number one. It is used to talk about something that was happening around a particular time in the past. Ya, ini digunakan untuk membicarakan aktivitas atau kegiatan yang sedang terjadi pada waktu tertentu di waktu yang lalu atau di masa lampau. Look at this example. What were you doing at 8 o'clock last night? I was reading Al-Quran. Amri bertanya, jam 8 semalam kamu ngapain? Brian menjawab, saya sedang membaca Al-Quran. Jam 8 malam, itu yang kita sebut dengan a particular time atau waktu yang sudah ditentukan di masa yang lalu. Number two, past continuous tense used together with an action or actions happen in the past. Digunakan bersamaan dengan sebuah aktivitas atau beberapa aktivitas yang terjadi di masa yang lama. Ini berarti ada dua aktivitas yang terjadi di masa lalu. For example, when Tia came to my house yesterday, I was studying. Ketika Tia datang ke rumah saya kemarin, saya sedang belajar. Tia datang itu bentuk past tense, saya sedang belajar bentuk past continuous. My students, which one happens first? Tia came or I was studying? Great. Jadi, kejadian yang awal itu adalah saya sedang belajar. Kejadian kedua menyusul adalah Tia datang. Kesimpulannya untuk pola kedua ini, kejadian pertama dibuat dalam bentuk past continuous tense, kejadian kedua dibuat dalam bentuk past tense. My great students, can you get the points? Marvelous. Thank you very much. Now we are learning about the formula of past continuous tense. Let's get started. 
subject plus to be was over plus verb warning plus object plus adverb object and adverb can be omitted paying attention for this example my father was driving a car at seven o'clock yesterday morning my father subject was to be driving verb warning a car is object at seven o'clock yesterday morning is adverb of time my students what subjects use was or use were right your answer is excellent was is used for subject pronoun she he it i and to be were used for subject pronoun they we you okay my student we have learned about present continuous tense and past continuous tense the last material that we are going to learn is about future continuous tense my students when they use future continuous tense all right use for something or activity or action that will be in progress at or around a time in the future jadi digunakan untuk menceritakan kegiatan yang akan sedang berlangsung pada waktu tertentu ada rentang waktu tertentu di masa yang akan datang look at this example i will be having an online class at 10 am tomorrow at 10 am tomorrow kita sebut dengan at a time atau titik waktu tertentu di masa yang akan datang example number two risha will be washing her clothes tomorrow morning risha akan sedang mencuci pakaiannya besok pagi tomorrow morning atau besok pagi ini kita sebut dengan around a time atau rentang waktu berikutnya ananda fungsi dari Future continuous tense yang kedua adalah use for an activity or action that's happening when another activity also happens in the future. Yaitu untuk menceritakan kegiatan yang sedang terjadi saat kegiatan lain juga terjadi di masa mendatang. Kita mesti membuatnya kejadian pertama dalam bentuk future continuous tense, lalu kejadian kedua dalam bentuk present tense. Contoh, if you pawn now pawn at 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, he will be making a poem. Next, my students, how about the formula of future continuous tense? The formula is subject plus will be plus verb warning plus object plus adverb. Object and adverb can be omitted or optional. Look at these examples. Number one, she will be memorizing a hadith at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Subject she plus will be plus memorizing plus a hadis object at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning is an adverb of time my great students you have learned about present past and future continuous tense thank you for joining my class see you next time assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh